everybody says that Kachi wears the strongest cattle around. They want to know our secret. Well, I'll tell you the secret for free today. Kachi imports semen from other countries. She specially chooses breed of cattle that have desirable traits like high feed conversion, resistance to diseases, and high breeding value. Instead of importing the whole animal, Kachi simply pays for the transportation of the semen. She gets to use it for several animals at once and also preserves the semen so that she can use it for a long time. We've been discussing artificial insemination and it's been an insightful time. In our first lesson on artificial insemination, we defined it as introduction of semen into the reproductive tract of a female by a method other than natural mating. Today, we want to look at some of the advantages and at disadvantages of artificial insemination. Why do people like Kashi like it so much? A lot of the advantages of artificial insemination have been described in Kashi's story already. The first one is that it is easier and less expensive. Kashi doesn't have to manage a whole herd of male cattle. The semen is also easier to import than the old animal. Artificial insemination also affords you the opportunity of using the best male animal semen. This is why Kashi has the strongest animals. The semen can also be used for a long time. Another important advantage is that venereal and infectious diseases usually associated with mating can be avoided. Artificial insemination isn't perfect though, and it comes with its own disadvantages. Sometimes, artificial insemination fails because the expert it needed is unavailable. When it is available, it is expensive. It may also be hard to predict the animal eating period. With this, We've come to the end of our discussion on artificial insemination. I hope you have learned something. See you in the next lesson.